Hello, once again, Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. Going to do a, another video today talking about current events as it relates to Bible prophecy. This is just going to be a video that goes into just a little bit of detail on a few different subjects. Not great detail on any of them, but I'm going to post the uh, links to the articles into the description box so you can look at them yourself. Um, and like I said, I'm going to cover just a few, three or four different uh, current events. <clears throat> a while back, I did a video about a satanic monument that uh, they wanted to put on the grounds of the uh, state capitol building in Oklahoma. And it's a it's the goat that represents Satan, and uh, he's sitting on a throne, and there's two kids standing next to him. And they wanted to put that on the on the grounds of the state capitol next to the monument that's already there that has the Ten Commandments. Now, you know, since that's happened, uh, and they've been working on this now for, I think, a little over a year, um, a couple of days ago, an article came out, or the article started to come out in the news that says uh, that that monument is about ready to go. And so now the fight is going to be on about whether it's actually going to be put there on the state capitol building grounds or not. Um, but I have to say that the fact that Oklahoma's let it go this far anyway, all along, and let that thing get built and, and has even entertained the possibility that it might get put there, um, I think is a, is a bad, bad thing and a bad situation. So, um, so two, two days ago the article came out. And so what's happened since then to Oklahoma? Well, now it's having extremely bad wild fires uh, right after that article came out that that, that monument was about ready. Uh, there's a wildfire out there right now. Uh, seven hours ago, ABC News reported 1,000 people flee and one dead as the Oklahoma wildfire spreads. Uh, it's burned at least 20 homes. And in the last year and a half, two years, there has been a huge uptick in earthquakes in Oklahoma, which is not known for earthquakes. So I looked at the uh, the statistics on this. From 1972 to 2008 in Oklahoma, there were two to six earthquakes a year. Two to six is all. In 2009, they had 50 earthquakes in Oklahoma. In 2010, there were a thousand earthquakes in Oklahoma. In 2011, there were 1,500. In 2012, there were 1,500. In 2013, this is the year that they started discussing this satanic monument, there were 2,800 earthquakes in Oklahoma last year. Uh, so far in 2014, there's been about 650 earthquakes already, and we're only in the beginning of May. Uh, in, in an article I'll post into this, it says... Uh, in an article dated April 13th, it said in the past month there were 157 earthquakes in Oklahoma, larger than 2.5. Uh, it says we have never seen anything like this in Oklahoma. So, again, I'm not saying that this is definitely has anything to do with it. I'm just saying, I'm just bringing it up. It could be total coincidence, but it is interesting to me that this wildfire just broke out and turned Oklahoma into an inferno right after they basically said, came out and said that the uh, the monument for Satan is about ready to go. All right, moving on. Uh, another story came out about another dead banker. 27-year-old man from New Jersey uh, went jogging. Uh, I guess it, he turned up missing uh, in March. And uh, he went jogging, and they have him on surveillance cameras jogging. And he turned up floating dead in the Hudson River, a 27-year-old banker. Now, what's very interesting about that is that makes number 31 of dead bankers since the end of last year. 31. Uh, a lot of them have been working for J.P. Morgan and Chase, but they've also been all around the world, in, uh, in uh, China, in Hong Kong, uh, London, uh, of course, the United States. Uh, it's just really strange. I, there are, most of them are labeled, uh, the deaths are, su are, are being called suicides or, or unexplained deaths. Uh, one, one guy 
was shot in the head seven times with a nail gun, and they called that a suicide. And I, again, I just have very trouble. I have a lot of trouble believing anybody could shoot themselves in the head seven times with a nail gun. Uh, and this guy, uh, you know, was out jogging. Uh, you know, and, and they, all these families are just really, really surprised uh, about their family members dying. That, that they weren't, they didn't weren't depressed, or they didn't seem like they were suicidal by any means, and they're all turning up dead. Here's an article, Does the Trail of Dead Bankers Lead Somewhere? And this is actually an older article, it's kind of outdated, they're dying so fast. This is an article from uh, February 19th, 2014, and it says, um, What are we to make of this sudden rash of, of banker suicides? Does the Trail of Dead Bankers lead somewhere, or could it just be a coincidence? Again, I don't believe it's a coincidence. That's why I kind of don't believe the fire and What's going on in Oklahoma with the earthquakes is a coincidence either. I think it's God trying to speak to people. Um, but there are certain common themes that seem to link at least some of these deaths together. First of all, most of these men were in good health and in their prime working years. Secondly, most of these suicides seem to have come out of nowhere and were a total surprise to their family. Thirdly, three of the dead bankers worked for J.P. Morgan, and I believe that number's gone up since February. Um... <clears throat> Fourthly, several of these individuals were either involved in foreign exchange trading or the trading of derivatives in some way. So when a foreign exchange trader jumped to his death from the top of J.P. Morgan's Hong Kong headquarters this morning, that definitely raised my eyebrows. These dead bankers are starting to pile up, and something definitely stinks about this whole thing. And uh, again, i gotta, I got to agree with it. You, and I'll post this article, and you can look at all the different incidences, and this one was just back in February. Again, there's been several since then. Now, the Bible makes it clear that there is a financial collapse coming that will lead to a one-world monetary system and eventually the mark of the beast as part of the new world order that will involve a one-world government, one-world religion, and a one-world monetary system. And... Uh, you know, there's article after article about a plan to collapse of the U.S. economy. Uh, I was just reading one yesterday that, that basically says that the U.S. economy is probably going to collapse around July 1st of this year. Um, I'll bring you more details on that later. Um, so there's, there's item number two. Uh, let's go to item number three. This is out of the Prophecy News Watch newsletter entitled... The article is entitled, License Plate Tracking Reveals When and Where You Have Been. The police know exactly where my car has been and when during the past few months. They could have the same information or more about you. As a part of my series on the use of automatic license plate readers in Virginia, I wanted to find out what kind of information local police might have. By law, the only information I'm privileged to is my own. Last week, I filed a public records request uh, and he said that uh, his his driving record is uh, virtually spotless, except for an occasional parking ticket. However, what I found left me riveted. In all, police captured 16 photos of my car, mostly at night, and recorded my license plate eight times on five dates from October 2013 to as recently as April 1st. In January, a license plate reader captured my plate twice while my car was parked in a lot of my apartment complex. Uh... Police also captured records of my car as I drove to Bible study on a typical Wednesday night in March. <clears throat> Still others were captured in various spots around Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. And uh, let's see, it says the data may be kept on a computer for up to 30 days uh, pending upload to a, a different database. Uh, again, I'll post this to the uh, description box, but again, why does the police need to be taking pictures of our license plates like that? and saving that information. Again, it just comes to show you that we are absolutely moving closer and closer to living in a total police state where they are tracking our every move. And uh, what's it, what eventually is going to happen is you're gonna, they're going to require everybody to have an RFID tracking device implanted in them. And you can see the foundation of that system basically, again, coming into play right now. Uh, well, there's a lot going on. Um, one other quick article out of uh, Prophecy News Watch um, I want to go over real quick. Um, and that is, and I'm, again, I'm just going to basically read the title of this one. 
uh, it says push for Amazon and PayPal to blacklist Christian and conservative websites and we already know that the IRS has been targeting conservatives and Christians so um, here's a push to make Amazon and PayPal blacklist Christian and conservative websites uh, it says headlining headline financing financing hate in the group's intelligence report publication, the Southern Poverty Law Center or SPLC listed ninety one hate groups ranging from those clearly on the fringe of mainstream bloggers and websites, uh, such as Catholic Family News, Atlas Shrugs, Jihad Watch, World Net Daily, and the Americans for Legal Immigration. Clearly stating its opposition, it describes how some of the organizations utilize Amazon, PayPal, and other online services to sell products. Uh, and it goes on to just... I'll just I'll let you read it. It's just another example of how uh, conservative values, um, Judeo-Christian ethics and values, and the Christian faith is coming more and more under fire every single day. Just more proof that we're living in more of a godless society. Uh, the spirit of Antichrist is is growing <laughs> exponentially, it seems, right now, um, which is exactly what the Bible said would happen in the last days. So, uh, Just want to encourage all of you to keep looking up, keep reading the Word of God, keep praying and making sure you're ready because we're living in some crazy times that are just going to get worse and worse. And uh, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of deceiving policies and a lot of strange events happening, uh, similar to the dead banker, similar to the Malaysian missing airline. Uh, uh, just on and on and on. Uh, and again today, uh, the situation in the Ukraine is escalating quite a bit. A lot of fighting going on. Uh, so we need to keep our eye on that. Uh, again, we're seeing kind of the beginning process probably of the Psalm 83 war and what's going on in the Ukraine with Russia uh, could signify that the Gog and Magog war may come up soon as well. So keep looking up. All the signs are here. God bless.